the Bible says if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. And many times we think of, when we think of creation, you know, when we think of the Holy Spirit, we think that we are a cup and the Holy Spirit comes into us and overflows from us. Correct? Right? But what happens? The Bible says when you are in Christ, you are a, so the old has gone and the New has come. And so a dirty vessel is gone. God gives us a new vessel. And in this new vessel, God begins to pour his Holy Spirit upon us. But then God says, listen, I want more of you. I want you to obey in this area. I want you to start, I want you to quit your job and enter into ministry. We say, God, no, I cannot. And so we'll remain a cup. But those who say, God, I agree. God says, Those who are in Christ are a new creation. Instead of a cup, God makes him a bucket. And now God pours his Holy Spirit upon us. And then God says, listen, I want you to leave one country and go to another country. And I want you to serve me in that country. And we say, no God, I cannot. How can I leave my children, my everything and go? God says, leave. Those who leave, God says, from a bucket, I'll make you a tub. Every single act of obedience enlarges our capacity to have of the Holy Spirit. And then from a bucket, you know what God does? God says, obey. I want you to quit this addiction. And we obey and say, yes, God, I quit this addiction. From a bucket, we become a dry riverbed and the Holy Spirit pours out himself upon this dry riverbed. And then God says, I want you to do this act of obedience also and we say okay okay heavenly father i'll do this act and then god makes us not one river he makes us rivers and into these rivers what does god do he pours out the holy spirit and that's why the bible says out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water the holy spirit of here is here but we need to obey we are able to contain only this much of the Holy Spirit. Not because, not because he does not have more to give. It's simply because we have not obeyed him.